okay so problem so motion of particle is defined by x is equal to t t cube minus 60 square plus 90 plus 5 where x expressed in meters and t in seconds determine the time at which velocity becomes zero also determine velocity and acceleration at t is equal to 5 seconds okay so first of all write down equation x is equal to x is equal to t cube x is equal to t cube t cube minus minus t 60 square 60 square 60 square 60 square then plus plus 90 90 plus 5 plus 5 okay so differentiate with respect to dt above equation differentiate 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 with respect to t differentiate with respect to t differentiate differentiate with respect to t so it will be a dx divided by dt differentiate with respect to t dx der derivative of x it will be dx by dt is equal to is equal to derivative of t cube it will be it will be 3 t square 3 t square 3 t square 3 t square minus 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 now derivative of 6 t square so t square derivative it will be 2 t so 2 into 6 it will be 12 t 12 t then plus derivative of 90 it will be 9 derivative of constant it will be 0 okay so dx by dt it will be right on dx divided by dt dx by dt dx by dt is equal to it will be v velocity v is equal to it will be 3t square 3t square 3t square minus 12t minus 12t plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 so this one it is velocity equation so write down this one it is equation number 2 1 equation number 1 so v is equal to you can write down v is equal to it will be again differentiate with respect to t again differentiate differentiate with respect to t for equation 1 okay so v it will be dv by dt so v it will be dv by dv by dt dv by dt so dv by dt is equal to it will be a acceleration a is equal to so 3t square derivative of 3t square it will be t square it will be 2t 2 into 3 it will be 60 so it will be 60 then derivative of 12 to it will be minus 12 uh, derivative of 9 it will be constant so it will be at 0 so this one it is acceleration equation right on this one it is equation number two equation number two okay equation number two so so now question was first question determine the time at which velocity becomes zero so means we put v is equal to zero in equation number one so First question, velocity is equal to it will be, velocity is equal to 0 and t is equal to question, t is equal to, 
question mark t is equal to three question mark what is t is equal to here yeah. so put this one it is in equation number okay so from equation one zero is equal to v three t square three t square three t square three t square minus twelve t minus twelve t plus nine plus nine solve this quadratic equation from this quadratic equation it will get t two values one it is equal to t is equal to it will be three second and second t is equal to it will be one second so this one it is from quadratic equation you can solve this one it is by scientific calculator okay then second question second question second question was Determine the velocity and acceleration at t is equal to pi, pi second. And first, we calculate velocity is equal to velocity is equal to velocity is equal to question mark. Velocity is equal to we need to calculate velocity is equal to question mark when t is equal to pi second. When when t is equal to it will be pi s, pi s. Okay. So put this one. In equation number one, so v is equal to equation one. It is three t square, three into t square. It will be pi square, pi square, pi square minus 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 twelve t, twelve into t it will be pi. Then plus nine plus nine. From this equation, it will get velocity. So v is equal to write down. V is equal to just calculate. Three into five square. Three into five square minus twelve into five minus twelve into five plus nine. So it will get twenty-four meter per second. Velocity to be twenty-four meter per second. So this one it is your second question answer. First part this one. Okay. Then next one it is we calculate acceleration. Second, third question. Third question. A is equal to question mark. A is equal to question mark. When t is equal to t will be pi second. When when t is equal to pi second. Pi second. So put this value in equation number two. So equation number two it will be a is equal to sixty. Six t minus twelve. Six t minus twelve. So put here t is equal to five. Six into t it will be five. Then minus twelve. Minus twelve. From this relation, it will get acceleration is equal to six into five. Six into five minus twelve. It will be eighteen meter per second square. Eighty meter per second square. Eighteen meter per second square. Okay, this one it is eighteen meter per second square. This one it is acceleration. Okay. So question was determine the time at which velocity becomes zero. So velocity at become zero time it is t is equal to three second and t is equal to one second. So second question also determine the velocity and acceleration at t is equal to five second. So velocity. At t is equal to five second, this one it is twenty four meter per second, and acceleration at t is equal to five will be eighteen meter per second square. This is your final answer. Okay.